Welcome media scavenger hunters, it's your guy Walter and today we're reviewing Constantine episode 6, Rage of Cain. Wow media scavenger hunters, I'm sorry yes, it was a hectic week, Thanksgiving weekend and as a matter of fact, oh my goodness, but I'm going to get through this, this episode right here in a nice timely fashion so we're going to get down to the nitty gritty of it and give you just the basic key points of everything that happened in this episode in this episode Constantine is hesitant to perform an exorcism on a young boy who is possessed by an evil spirit due to the events of his past you remember Astra sending a little girl to hell trying to help her due to the events of his past he's kind of like oh, I don't think so but when things start to get out of hand, he is forced to convince the parents that all is not what it seems. This episode was about a benevolent spirit that was jumping into the bodies of little children and killing their parents. John Constantine got on, got on the case by, again, using the mystic map. This episode really was just him and Chaz. Zeb wasn't in it at all. And he goes to this he goes to the house of the to where the little girl had killed her parents and the big mystery was if an intruder came in why did they leave the little girl as a matter of fact so john goes up in there and using his big bag of tricks he took out this scroll and he lit the scroll says says some incantations over it and the smoke filled up the room and within the smoke it reenacted the scene when the little girl she was sitting next to a police officer and her getting mad again well the spirit getting mad again broke a cup then it showed the police officer taking the little girl and walking off but what Constantine seen was the spirit of a little boy so he was like oh yeah this little girl is possessed the Angel Manny appeared in this uh, episode a couple of times, giving Constantine guidance, as he said. And so Constantine being, he's, you know, slash detective, as well as he uses other people to do his legwork. He had this para paralegal that he had helped years ago with her problem, her, her, uh, husband had died and his spirit was haunting her. So the paralegal had gave him all the cases of children that survived and their parents had died violently in the house. And it goes back 35 years. So Constantine, he tracks down the first person that had brutally killed his parents and come to find out he's in a psych ward. He goes, the guy is comatose like in his 40s or something like that, comatose. So Constantine says, oh, this is no help right here. So he goes to the meal where him and Chaz are trying to figure out why is this spirit just targeting certain people. He, while at their headquarters getting everything together, you know it's a whole bunch of mystic items around there. Chaz happens to pick up a sword I say, I wonder what this sword right here, what's this sword do? And why he says that, he starts confessing things to Constantine. Constantine looks up at him and says, he grabs the whole sword and he says, this is the sword of night. And what it does is, it compels the holder to tell the truth. So it's kind of like a little awkward moment where Chaz has been holding something in that he'd been wanting to tell Constantine, but he never got a chance, got around to telling him. So that was good. So hopefully, as the series progresses, we'll see other mystic items and what they can do. He lays out a map and then he puts a clear piece of plastic over it and makes lines and diagonals and everything. And come to find out that these are ley lines. Ley, ley lines are mystic forces that follow a particular pattern. And he's seen that this pattern is following a certain line, so he's like, this is how we'll find out where the next victim is. Come to find out the spirit jumped into the body of a little boy. Now his parents at first just believed that, you know, he's just acting out. 
Constantine knows better. Constantine tries to convince the parents that your son is possessed and I can help him. The father doesn't believe him and gets Constantine sent to jail. While in jail, the mother comes to visit him after he got a visit from Manny, because you know, Manny pops in now. After he got a visit from Manny, and she says, I want you to help my son. So, Constantine deducted that the spirit originated in this house 35 years ago with the guy that was comatose, what his father had done to him. They try to do a seance and release the spirit from the young boy into this house. It doesn't work. So Constantine's like, man, what is happening? What's wrong with this? He starts questioning himself. Then he comes up, wait a minute, maybe this is not the spirit of a dead person, but the spirit of a live person that went through something so traumatic that they spirit jumped up out of their body is now creating havoc. This also all happens around Halloween. So Constantine goes back to the house with the little with the mom and the little boy, and eventually he does do the right spells and the incarnations and releases the spirit from the boy and instead of sending the spirit to hell he sent it back to his rightful owner which was the guy that was comatose and that's basically what happened in this episode right i want to thank everybody that's been watching my videos the few viewers that i have i really do appreciate that if uh, you know somebody that is have a common interest in Constantine, DC Comics, as well as a lot of other vlogs I will be doing over the course of the next couple of months, please tell them to subscribe, like, and comment below, and tell me what you would like for me to watch to review. Have a blessed and less stressful day, evening, or night. And remember, media scavenger hunters, keep your binocular lenses focused and your zoom in tight.